Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to the class once again. You all have been doing Japanese for a long time now here in the class. We, we are already through with 2022 lectures. So I am sure now you are all very comfortable with the language. Whatever we have done, you have learnt and you remember it. All these past days, we have been doing nouns. We have done adjectives, how to use adjectives, how to use negative, how to use it in a negative form. We have also done verbs in mass form, mas, masen, mashta, masen deshta. So well, today we are going to do verbs, something different in verbs. Why? Because we need verbs to make complicated sentences. We need verbs to say things in an easier way, but in Japanese there is a system that you have to use must form in the end of a sentence. Always must form comes in the end. So how will you make complicated sentences with must form in the middle and must form in the end? So that does not happen. What happens is what we are going to do now a little later. But well, before that, as I always do, we will just go over our assignments that I had given you last time and we will see you can check whether you have done them correctly or not. So well, let us see what it is. Fill in the blanks with proper verb forms. So you have the English clue over here, you have to use that and see what is going to come in the blank space. So well, mainichi nani wo shimasu ka? Kino watashi nani mo tabemasen deshita? Minna de gohan wo tsukurimashou. Over here, you can also use ka if it was shall we. Over here it is just let us make. So, the person who is saying this is not asking, he is just deciding and saying let us make. So, that is why it is tsukuri masho. Nichiyobi ni kazoku to issho ni eiga wo mimashita. Rainen Watashi wa kuni e kaerimasu. Raigetsu no mikka ni sensei no uchi ni paati ga arimasu. Tomodachi wa atarashi kuruma o kaimashita. Shokuji o tabemashou ka. Now over here you can see the ka is given, thus it is shall. So when you are asking, then shall is to be used when you are deciding yourself then ka is not going to be used and it will end at show with the verb then getsuyobi wa yasumi deshita was a holiday so i hope you all got it right well look at the pictures below and fill in the blanks with verbs Tanaka san wa hachiji ni nemashita. He is fast asleep. Then Tanaka san to Rao san wa nijikan hanashimashita. They talked for two hours. Then they are in a class over here. Sensei wa mainichi nihongo o oshiemasu. Rao san wa 
ピンポンの練習をします。Then we have these people waiting here at the bus stop. Well, みなさんはバス停でバスを待ちました。Then the last one is you see some people crossing over at the zebra crossing. A crossing is called a kosa then. So, well, we have michi o watari mas. To cross over is watari mas. So, whenever you cross something, maybe it is a bridge, a river, or a road like this, it is always watari mas. So, you cross over. Go over a certain thing, then it is Vatarimas. This assignment is to fill in the blanks with particles. We need particles to join words and make good sentences. So, well, this is what we are to do over here. So, I hope you got your particles right. Now, match column A with column B. We have done these exercises, we have gone over them, and I hope. You have checked all of it and will not make the same mistakes again. Now, you have done senmon. You know how to tell about your senmon. You know how to tell about your hobbies, your shumi. You also know how to tell about your tanjobi, which is birthday. There is something very important which we need to do over here, which you really require. It is very important when you fill. Forms and what is that? That is Senen Gappi, which is your date of birth. So, that is what we are going to do over here today. Senen Gappi wa nan desu ka? So, let us see. Tanaka san no Senen Gappi wa nan desu ka? Watashi no Senen Gappi wa 1985nen 3 gatsu mikka desu. Watashi mo 1985年です。何月ですか ?9 月です。So well, you can see over here very clearly how to ask for Seinen Gappi or your date of birth, someone's date of birth. Now, the important part over here is Tan. Jobi wa itsu desu ka. Now, this word itsu is when, and you say seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Please remember nan desu ka and not itsu desu ka. That is very, very important. Now, what is this actually? Say means when you are born, your birth, then nen is year, gatsu or gap, gap is month, and then p over here is day. So, this stands for Birth, year, month, and date. So, in Japanese, you have the year first, the month, and then the date. You have to keep that in mind. Now, how will you practice this? Well, for asking, you know, you can put ka in the end. So, a na ta no. Seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Over here, for anata, you can put whatever you want over here. Otosan sensei musume or any other vocabulary that you remember, Tanaka san no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Now, what is the answer? You can give whatever year, 
nen, sangatsu, shigatsu, jugatsu, and mika, toka, jugonichi, hatsuka. You can give any of these dates and say this over here. So, watashi no seinen gappi wa 1987 nen, sangatsu mikka desu. We have practiced date, we have practiced month, we have practiced our numbers here, we have practiced nen. So, I am sure you can all use this and ask your friends about their seinen gappi. Now, you can practice over here. Watashi no seinen gappi wa 1988 nen, sangatsu juroku nichi desu. It is also given in the script over here. This means to be born, this is year, month and day wa 1988 nen sangatsu juroku nichi desu. Over here as I just told you, you can practice it with whatever vocabulary you remember. You can replace watashi with any of these over here. Then your date of birth can be said like this. You can ask with ka. So, you can practice musume no seinen gappi wa 1990 nen gogatsu kokonoka desu. Tomodachi no seinen gappi wa 1986 nen nigatsu jugo nichi desu. Also, look at these pictures and tell me what is the date of birth. You can name these people, could be Tanaka san, Tanaka san no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka, Tanaka san no seinen gappi wa 1989 nen, shigatsu ju go nichi desu. And this is how you can practice over here. You have Tanaka san again, Obachan is there. So, Obachan no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka, it is given over here, you can say that out aloud. Then we have Mariko san probably, you can call her Mariko san, Mariko san no seinen gappi wa 1972 nen jugatsu ju ninichi desu. And this is Tomoko chan, so Tomoko chan no seinen gappi wa 2002 nen sangatsu niju ichinichi desu. Well, this is how you can do your seinen gappi date of birth, it is extremely important because any time you need to fill a form, that is the first thing that you have to do, fill in your name, write your name and then your seinen gappi. Now, as I told you and promised you earlier in the class, we are going to do verbs, we are going to do verbs in a different way today. Now, why we need to do them like this is, first and foremost in Japanese unlike English, you can complete a sentence just using the verb. Just by using the verb, a single word, a single verb, the sentence is complete. For example, tabemas, mimas. Tabemas is to eat, mimas is to see. So, just by saying this, it is complete, it is understood. Tabemas, because most of the time the subject when you are talking topic of conversation or your subject is not said, it is left out, it is understood. So, just by saying tabemas, everything is understood that you want to eat or you are going to eat. So, that is one very important thing. Now, another important thing about Japanese is that you have done mass form. We have been doing in fact mass form for quite some time now and you all understand mas, masen, mashita and masen deshita. Well, in Japanese mas form, verb in mas form always comes here in the end. 
you have a sentence and you have the verb in the end. Also, must form can be used only once in a sentence, which is in the end. You cannot use must form over here, verb in must form like this and then try to complete your sentence and put another must form over here. That cannot be done. So, when you make complicated sentences, when you want to say use two verbs or three verbs in a sentence, what do you do? How will you use verbs? For that, we need verbs in their base form. We need verbs in their plain form or dictionary form as they are called and the dictionary form of the verb or the plain form of the verb is used in between or to make complicated sentences to be able to use make different uh, difficult sentences and then mass form is used in the end. So, that is what we are going to practice over here today. We are going to do plain form of verbs today in class. Now, as you as you already know the mass form, you know the verb, you just need to learn the plain form. From the plain form of the verb, all different conjugations are done and made. So, plain form is extremely important, extremely important for us to do the language to be able to speak in Japanese. Now, you have done mass form, iki mas. iki, please tell me, masen. Iki mashita in past tense. Watashi wa ikimasu. Watashi wa ikimasen. Kino watashi wa ikimashita. And iki masen deshita. In past negative. So all these four forms, mas masen mashita and masen deshita will have plain forms. Today, we will do plain form for ikimas, which is iku and all the other verbs as well. This will help you to make better sentences. So, let us see what we have over here. Well, I just told you ikimas, ikimasen, Ikimashita, ikimasen deshita. This you already know, we have done it a number of times, we have been making sentences. Well, you have another one here, suarimas, suarimasen, suarimashita, suarimasen deshita. Now we have yomimas, yomimasen, yomimashita. Yomimasen deshita. Tabemas, tabemasen, tabemashita, tabemasen deshita. So now, if you remember, I did tell you in the beginning that verbs are divided into three categories in Japanese. Basic three divisions of verbs: group one, group one, group. 2 and group 3. So, we have verbs ending in I R U and E R U most of the time in group 2. When verbs in their dictionary form as I told you, in their plain form, in their base form end in I R U and E R U, they are in group 2. If they end in anything else, then they are in group 1 or all verbs ending in u are in group 1. There are a lot of exceptions in group 1, lot of exceptions are there. Then there are some verbs ending in i r u and e r u in group 1 also. 
we have only two verbs kuru meaning to come and suru to do in group 3 because they do not follow the normal pattern of group 1 and group 2. So, these, these are exceptions and thus they are in group 3. So, well for your practice I have listed a few verbs over here of group 1 though they are all jumbled all of them some are exceptions and some are not exceptions but we will have them here in this pattern so that it is easy for you to understand, it is easy for you to memorize. In the previous slides that we saw, we did just now, you must have noticed that there are some verbs in group 1 and the last verb tabimas was in group 2. So, well here it is only group 1, let us try to practice that. You know the verb ikimas iku, kairimas kairu, aimas au, kaimas kau, nomimas nomu, yomimas yomu, hashirimas hashiru, hanashimas hanasu, kakimas kaku, kikimas kiku, arukimas aruku. So, these are some verbs. Of course, from now onwards we will also do the exceptions for group 1. I will explain them to you on and off in class, not all of them in one class because it is a little confusing and you may not be able to remember them. So, over a period of time we will try to do that and I am sure things will be all right. Now, practice verbs in plain form. There are a lot of verbs listed over here with pictures you can practice. Yomu. Well, what is he doing? Writing. Kaku. Then we have cutting which is kiru. This verb kiru is in group 1 also and in group 2 also. Group 1 is to cut, group 2 is to wear. Then hanasu, what is he doing? Having medicine. So, nomu and in Japanese we drink our medicines, we do not eat our medicines. So, please remember in Japanese we always drink which is nomu. Then we have this lady who is pouring sugar cubes in the cup in her tea. So, well it is iremas to pour or to put nomu. Now, there is more group 1 verbs for you. You have done this picture earlier. Swimming, puru de oyogu. So, now the practice is for you to learn the verbs in plain form, in the base form, in the dictionary form. Making something, gohan o tsukuru. Pulling the rope, hiku. Children are playing, asobu. Working or studying, studying is benkyosuru, to work is hataraku. Then meeting, greeting with a hi and what is that? Au, au is to meet. Well, we have verbs in group 2 as well. Let us see, miru. Taberu, 
Then we have someone sleeping over here, Neru. What is he doing? Kangaeru, to think. This you have done, Okiru. And of course, what is this? Let us see, Osheru, to teach or as he is entering over here, well it could also be Hairu, which is to enter. Now, we have some pictures for group 3 as well. Let us see, someone is ringing up, calling up on phone. So, Denwa Osuru, having a party, Pati Suru, then Benkyo Suru, then cleaning up the whole place with a hoki, well Soji Suru, and then they are enjoying a party or a picnic, picnic Suru. So, these are all in group 3 special category, where you have verb and noun combination. This is a noun verb combination and as I told you earlier in group 3, we only have two verbs which are kuru and suru as I put it over here for you, kuru and suru, kimas and shimas. You have already done these verbs, kimas and shimas. Watashi wa mainichi shigoto o shimas. Watashi wa mainichi kras e kimas. So, these two verbs are in group 3 and this verb, this set of group 3 verbs that has been mentioned over here is in a special category which sometimes is also called the group 4 verbs, the noun verb category. Now, we have more verbs for you. What are they doing? Well, they are getting something, buying stuff in packets, getting it home. So, kai mono suru. Now, we have this gentleman entering the room, it is 9 o'clock. Kras ni kuru. So, the students are already there. They are saying, sensei ga class ni kimashita or kuru as is given over here in plain form. Also, sensei ga class ni hairu, enter a class. Then we have these people playing over here again, well tennis no renshu o suru. So, with this verb suru, we have the noun over here, renshu o suru over here and what do we have here? With the dog, he is going for a walk. So, sampo o suru, sampo is to take a leisure walk. Well, sampo o suru, he is not doing brisk walking. Now, there is a small practice for you. What is this gentleman doing? Can you tell me? Look at the picture carefully and see what is he doing? Nimotsu o okuru. Well, he is going to send this nimotsu as package or luggage or baggage. Nimotsu o okuru. Okuru is to send. Or also you could say nimotsu o hakobu. Hakobu is to transfer something from one place to another. Well, we have another picture for you. This gentleman over here, Tanaka san, you can call him, is relaxing, is happy. So, what is he doing? Uchi de yasumu is relaxing at home. Then you have this gentleman Tanaka san over here asking this lady for some place or some building. So, well, what is he doing? Jusho o kiku. Jusho is a dress, jusho o kiku. So, this is how you can practice with all the other pictures also given over there. Ask your partner what they are doing and then probably answer in plain form. Now, Tanaka san wa juice o nomu. Tanaka san is going to have juice or is having juice. So, well, for Tanaka san, you can replace it with sensei, oksan, tomodachi, imoto. I told you earlier also. And you can replace juice with jusho, tabemono, presento, fuku, and nomu for any of these verbs over here. And I can just 
tell you this once. Well, okusan wa tabemono o okuru or okasan wa tabemono o okuru. Okasan is mother. Tomodachi wa presento o kau. Imoto wa fuku o arao. Sensei wa jusho o kiku. So, instead of kikimas, you can use kiku, okurimas, okuru, kaimas, kau, araimas, arau in plain form. Now, this is one expression we did last time. I hope you remember someone leaves the house in the morning, bright sunshine over here in the morning, well Tanaka san is leaving his house. So, what will he say? What is the expression generally used in Japanese? Well, it is itte kimasu, itte kimasu. And then the person who stays back at home, what does the person say? Well, please go and come, itte irashai. I have already discussed this with you earlier, told you this is just a simple revision for you to remember your expressions. This is an important expression which generally you will use in Japan. Now, just the opposite of what we did just now in the previous slide. When you come back home, well what do you say? What you say is when the person who enters the house announces that I am back, I have returned. So, well the word is tadaima, tadaima. And then you have the person at home saying, Okairina sai, Okairina sai, nice you are back. So, well, as I always do, we will do kanji practice also, and let us see what is the kanji that we have here. Hanasu, you have done the verb hanasu, I will just make it for you, write it for you. It is a combination of two characters over here. This character means, okay, well this is imas and then we have this character over here which joins this and makes it a single character which is ha na su. You would like to know what this character is, well this is tongue. So, you talk with your tongue and that is how you can remember. This is a 13 stroke character. Let me see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, 12 and 13. So, it is a 13 stroke character. Speak with your tongue which is to talk ha na su once again very very quickly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 to talk. Now, let us see what do we have next. As I told you it is a 13 stroke character. Then we have yomu and you can see one character is similar over here. Now, I will make it once again for you over here. Let us see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This you have done 1, ichi, ju, doyobi. Then we make something like this and yomu. So, once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10. This is longer, this is smaller, 11, 12, 13 and 14. It is a 14 stroke character meaning yomu to read. So, well, let us see how many strokes are there. Yes, it has 14 strokes. You have hanasu over here, so many strokes to it. You can make it, write it down properly as is given. 
and practice. And as I just told you, we did the strokes for Yomu. Well, I do not have it in the slide over there. You can do it like this. like this, you can make it, it is a 14 stroke character. So, you can get the stroke order correctly from there. Well, now let us see what kanji we have for you here. You have done this word dai gaku, dai and gaku, dai, dai as in big and gaku like this, gaku as in place of learning. So, big place of learning will be a university. Now, dai you already know, this is how dai is to be made. Gaku is, this is kodomo, child and place where there are lot of lights, a roof, room with lights is somewhere you would sit and read or learn, thus it is place of learning, seat of learning, big place of learning would be dai gaku, which is a university as is given over here. You can see it is an 8 stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. It is an 8 stroke character. Well, let us see what we have next now. We have Higashi, you have done Tokyo. If you remember all of you, we have done this character in Tokyo. To Kyo, Tokyo, we have done this character over here, this one, this means east over here, I have this character for you, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana and hachi. It is an 8 stroke character meaning higashi, meaning east. Now, gaku for you, you can see the stroke order and practice it. There is hiragana as I always do. Well, this is the ra series. You have these syllables over here. The stroke order is given and see the shape how it is made. Ra. Ri. Ri has this longer. It is similar to e, but this part is a little longer. Ri, Ru, Re, and we have in the end Ro. Now you have all of them on your screen. You can see how it is done how proportionate they are and you can draw it on a graph sheet. Well, this vocabulary is for you, the vocabulary that we did here in the lesson. Fuku, kaimono, hairu, okuru, morao, ageru, kangaeru, Miseru, and you have the meanings over here and the hiragana given. Now, as I have been doing in some of our from our previous lessons, I try to give you a proverb which is very commonly used in Japan, and today's proverb is something which we also 
do as children in school here in India also, I am sure other places as well. This is a common proverb, well you can see lot of squirrels here in this picture and they are trying to collect their food for the winter. Well, the proverb is chiri mo sumoreba yamato naru. Chiri is lot of small, small things. If you collect it, it becomes into a mountain. Even the smallest of things, the meaning is that if you work together, you can accomplish anything. If you work together, you can do wonders. Alone you may be very small, you may not have the strength or the stamina or the capability to do anything. But if you are united, if you stay together, you work as a team, then you can accomplish anything, you can do wonders. So, small squirrels all together when they try to collect food, they can collect lots of food for the winter when it is very, very cold and food is not available. You can use it. Now it is your time, your time begins, you can start your assignments. Now the assignments are match group A with group B and make good sentences. Then you have fill in the blanks with question words. You also have match the kanjis with the meanings in group B. Then as we did in our previous exercise, I want you to practice particles, write particles and there is an audio exercise here where you just need to listen to the audio and answer the questions given here. Senshi no nichiyobi ni watashi wa kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni picnic u ekimashita. Watashi tachi wa eki no kaisa tsukuchi no mai ni atsumarimashita. Picnic no basho wa yama no chikaku ni arimasu kara Tokyo eki kara Kyoto made densha de ekimashita. Kyoto eki kara basu ni nori kaimashita. Watashi tachi wa ピクニックの場所に11時頃着きました。そして1時間ぐらい相場の公園で休みました。12時30分頃、レストランで美味しい昼ご飯を食べました。ご飯の後、皆さんは山道を3キロぐらい歩きました。山の写真も撮りました。